The Burndy Aluminum Terminal Installation Training Video. Topics we will discuss, compression terminal selection, wire stripping, wire insertion, U-die selection, crimping technique, including number of crimps, crimp placement and crimping sequence, inspection. Chapter one, proper connector selection. Proper terminal selection is determined by the wire being terminated and the mounting requirements for the application. In this video, we are only focused on the wire termination portion of the terminal. Identify the wire material, copper or aluminum, as this will determine the connector product line to be used to terminate the wire. Wire types include copper solid wire, copper class B or C building wire, and aluminum class B building wire. Wire size or gauge will determine the physical wire size designation. Once the wire is identified, you can select the appropriate connector. This video will depict an installation using a 4 aught AWG aluminum terminal. For this video, we have selected an aluminum Class B 4 aught AWG gauge wire. Installers can verify the proper connector by matching the wire size on the wire insulation to the connector barrel embossment. Burndy aluminum lugs are dual rated and accommodate both aluminum Class B and copper Class B and C wire and have part number, color code, die index number, wire size markings, and neural crimp bands embossed on the terminal barrel and or pad. The end cap color also corresponds to the die color code. Chapter 2. Proper Wire Stripping Wire insulation stripping is required for proper wire insertion into the connector. Proper wire stripping ensures full contact at each crimp with the wire for optimal electrical and mechanical performance. Installers can find the wire strip length for the selected connector in the Burndy Master Catalog, sales drawing, or product label. If wire strip length is too long, it will expose bare wire between the barrel end and the insulation. While this does not pose a problem from an electrical or mechanical standpoint, it is not a recommended practice as exposed wires can pose a safety hazard. Wire that is exposed can be covered using Burndy heat or cold shrink products. If wire strip length is too short, it will prevent the wire from fully inserting into the connector barrel, preventing full crimps on the wire that could affect the integrity of the connection. When the strip length is properly sized, it ensures that no excess bare wire is exposed and the wire is fully inserted into the connector allowing for full crimps on the wire, resulting in a safe and reliable connection. When stripping the insulation, be careful to avoid cutting or nicking wire strands as damaged strands can affect the integrity of the connection both from an electrical and mechanical standpoint. Chapter 3. Proper Wire Insertion Before making a connection, verify proper wire strip length. Hold the wire against the connector barrel so the stripped insulation is butting the barrel end. Visually verify the bare wire extends beyond the crimp zone as this ensures that the wire will be fully inserted into the barrel and will make full contact with the wire when crimped. Wire brushing conductor is recommended for aluminum wire. Oxides can create an insulating barrier between the wire and connector that can minimize the conductivity in the connection for a less reliable connection. As a best practice, wire brush all the conductor or wire before making a connection. Do not wire brush tin plated connectors. It is recommended to have an oxide inhibitor applied to aluminum conductor. So Burndy aluminum connectors come pre-filled with Penetrox A13 oxide inhibitor and therefore are not available with an inspection window. Once the wire is scratch brushed, remove the color coded end cap and insert the wire into the connector until the wire can no longer be pushed in. Due to the aluminum connector barrels being pre-filled with Penetrox, an installer may feel the wire stop due to this oxide inhibitor, so the installer should apply enough force to sink the wire fully into the barrel. When this is done, excess Penetrox may discharge out of the terminal end. Chapter 4. Proper U-Die Selection The die set will depend on the installation tool being used. For this installation, we are using the 12-ton 750 series battery-actuated Patriot T3 tool which requires U-Dies. When selecting the proper die set, installers can verify the die with the connector by using the unique Burndy die index numbering system and color code. Die index number 298 and white color code for this installation indicates the following information can be verified before installation. Wire material can be aluminum or copper. Wire type is Class B. 
Wire size is 4 aught AWG. Color code is white. Connector family is YA28A. Burndy offers both aluminum and copper die sets, so it is important that the proper die is selected based on the material composition of the terminal being used. Regardless of if the wire being installed is aluminum or copper, aluminum terminals require aluminum die sets. Chapter 5. Proper Crimping Technique Inserting Dies into the Installation Tool For the top die half, press the die release button at the top of the tool head. Slide the die half inside the tool head groove until it is centered. Release the die button and wiggle the die to ensure it is properly seated. For the ram or bottom die half, press the die release button on the side of the ram. Slide the die half inside the tool head groove until it is centered. Release the die button and wiggle the die to ensure it is properly seated. Once both die halves are properly seated in the tool head, you are ready for crimping. Installation process. Once the number of crimps, crimp location, and crimping sequence has been determined, you can begin the installation. Burndy installation manuals and the Burndy Connect app provide you with the number of crimps, crimp location, crimping sequence, and crimping diagrams. To get the Burndy installation instruction manuals or the free Burndy Connect mobile app, go to the resources tab on the Burndy website. To demonstrate proper crimping technique, we will be crimping an aluminum 4 aught AWG terminal with 4 aught AWG aluminum wire. We are going to show the crimping procedure for a 4 aught AWG aluminum terminal. For this installation, the connector requires two crimps. Place the connector against the top die half with the bottom of the terminal pad facing the lower die half. The top die is stationary during tool activation, allowing the installer to maintain proper connector alignment during crimping. Align the first crimp closest to the terminal pad with the center of the crimp die between the first and second embossed neural bands, as shown in the illustration. Begin the tool's crimping cycle. Tool indicates a full cycle has been completed when an audible pop sound is heard. Some tools also depict a green indicator light as a secondary indicator of a completed crimp. A red light would indicate an incomplete crimp. Once the first crimp is complete, retract the tool ram and align the second crimp closest to the wire end with the center of the crimp die between the third and fourth crimp bands, as shown in the illustration. Once you have finished your two crimps, the installation is complete. You can verify that a proper installation has been made by the presence of the correct die embossment on the connector falling within the crimp zones. The crimping orientation during an installation on a seamless compression terminal is not critical from an electrical or mechanical performance perspective. However, crimping in the orientation recommended provides a uniform and clean-looking connection. Crimping contrary to Burndy's recommendations may cause flash to extrude vertically on the terminal, which could prevent the connector from sitting flush on mounting surfaces. Chapter 6. Proper Inspection Inspectors can validate proper terminal installation with the use of U-dies visually and physically. Visual Inspection Inspectors can visually see the die index number embossed on each crimp of the connection. Die index embossments provide the inspectors with wire material, either copper or aluminum, wire type, in this example Class B, wire size, in this example 4 aught AWG, Die index number on the embossment matches with the markings on the terminal, in this case 298, color code in this instance white, and connector family, in this example YA28A, as indicated on the terminal embossment. Inspection with physical measurement tools. Physical inspection of a crimp can be done with the use of the wire mic CI or calipers. Wire mic CI can be used as a U die post crimp measurement tool. Place the wire mic on the crimp, read the die catalog number indicated on the tool, and verify that die catalog number with the die used based on the die index number and color code. The Burndy Connect app provides the post crimp dimension range. Place calipers on the crimp and verify the readings fall within the proper post crimp dimensions. This concludes the Aluminum Terminal Installation Training Video.